Hello, welcome to the final home down payment weekly review for 2022. Balance on the account is $73,520. I am 91% towards the target goal for this account of $80,000. The bigger balance goal is 100k plus for this account but i like to set my increments in 10k just so that i feel i'm making (laughs) more and more progress towards my goal let's look at the activity for the week there's only one and it was just 20 dollars on december 30th that went into the account so that's what brought it up to that 73520 balance. So not a lot of activity for the last week. This account is going to ebb and flow in terms of what I can contribute. Some weeks I can put in 1500 Other weeks will be $20 as I've shown you here. Now, 2023 is going to be a huge, huge year for this account because... Hopefully, right, pending all goes according to plan, this 2023 will be the final year that I am saving money for a home down payment. I've been working on this home down payment account for 10 plus years. I'm over it. I'm exhausted. I'm ready to buy or just invest the money in the stock market, like one or the other. So based off some projections that I've done in terms of my income and what I can contribute I think I will be able to start the process in 2023 more in September October kicking off the home buying process I thought I would have to wait until like January 2024 but I think fall of 2023 I'll have enough where I can start it and what I mean by that is start interviewing different realtors to find the best match for you start doing research on different financial institutions to get my pre-approval from start to be more specific in terms of what i'm looking for i have a pretty good idea of what i'm looking for but kind of narrowing it down in terms of like neighborhood because right now i'm looking i'm thinking about like four different neighborhoods but i think honestly I should just narrow it down to the two that I've actually lived in. (laughs) So just kind of thinking about things like that. Um, So just getting that pre-approval, finding a realtor, and going out and starting to look at properties. I don't know how long the process will take, but who knows? I could be in my home in... The first quarter of 2024, which would be mind blowing. So we'll see. I'm also turning 40 years old in November 2023. So this would be really nice for me to at least buy the property within the year that I turn 40, meaning I won't be able to buy it by the time I turn 40 in November 2023, but like before I turn 41, right, in November of 2024, by before that date, which I think will be feasible for me to do. I am buying a co-op in New York City. It requires a lot of money, and I don't know how the process is going to go. I've done as much research as I can in terms of like co-op buying, but I've never attempted to buy a property before much less doing it in a very complicated and extremely expensive market like New York City. So I am sure a lot of shenanigans will happen, but I'm hoping that I'm hoping I'm one of the lucky ones that everything just goes so smoothly and quickly and no issues. But I will bring you along every step of the way. So I'll do videos on the different apartment co-ops that I tour and like the price my thoughts the different steps things like that just to help someone else who's um, maybe thinking about buying a co-op in New York City so I'm really excited for 2023 I can't believe that I might be starting to house hunt so 
yes, you'll you'll be along the journey with me. And I will catch you next week for our first update in 2023. Bye.